Data defines the current business environment. Whether you're a data analyst or just wanna get better about using the mass amounts of data that are starting to affect almost everyone in any sort of office position, I'll teach you the top five data analyst skills to learn in 2020. Hi, I'm Jen. I have over 15 years of experience in analytics. I help people build analytic skills and careers with new videos every week. The first data analyst skill to learn in 2020 is math or statistical skills. I started to see more and more people asking whether math is a critical skill for a data analyst. If we have software and calculators that can really do most of the calculations for us, why in the world do we even need to know math? Really, the reason that you need to know math is because you should understand what those algorithms and systems and calculations are doing behind the scenes. You don't have to do complex math problems in your head, but you do need to understand what are the good inputs that I need to give into an algorithm or a formula or in the way I structure my data to make sure that the outputs I'm getting are really answering what I'm asking of the data. If you don't understand the math behind it, and the statistics behind it, there's more of a tendency to just accept as fact whatever the system tells you, and it's not always right. It's going to be right the majority of the time, but when it's wrong, the consequences can be massive. If you're working in the financial sector, it could be businesses or people losing thousands or millions of dollars or more. If you're working in the healthcare sector, it could mean that people aren't given treatment they need or are given treatment that they don't need. And so the better we can be with understanding the math and the statistics behind calculations that we're running with our data, the better of an analyst you're going to be or the better at analyzing data that you're going to be. A good starting point is basic statistics. I have a series that I'll link to explaining a lot of the simple statistical principles that are going to apply in almost every job and really in a lot of things outside of your job just in your day-to-day -day life. If you already know basic statistics, get into more advanced math and statistics. Look at things like regression analysis and build your skills in these areas. The next data analyst skill to learn in 2020 is a programming language. If you already know a programming language, that's great. Are there ways that you can improve your skills in that area? Or maybe you want to supplement with learning a new language and round out your profile to make you a good asset to your current company and make you more attractive when you start applying for jobs in the future. The language you choose, whether it's Python, R, SAS, Julia, or really any of the other dozens of options, is really going to be specific to the industry you're in. If you aren't in an industry where you need to use these skills yet, or you're not in a role where you need to use these skills yet, then stick to something like Python, which is pretty widely uh, used across many different industries and companies. This is personally my main analytic skill that I wanna work on this year. I know SAS, I know some Python, but I wanna get better at Python so that I'm fully prepared prepared to work completely in either of these languages for my own consulting business. Another consideration, if you already know a programming language, is focusing on machine learning in the language that you already know. This is a great skill that's just going to become more in demand in the coming years. The third data analyst skill to learn in 2020 is problem solving skills. To clear up a question I've had on a previous video I made about problem solving skills, these really are different than math skills. Advanced math really does teach you a lot about problem solving. It teaches you about logic and order and how to structure things in a good way. But it doesn't always teach you what question you need to ask to be able to get a good solution. It's really good at helping you once you know what you need to do to follow a process and very rigorous steps to achieve your goals, but it doesn't help you know what the proper question to ask to solve the business need is or to really get the results and the data back that you need out of the work you're going to be doing. Problem solving is an area where a lot of people struggle. Yes, there's 
always those people that we know that seem like they can figure anything out quickly. But for most people, it's not the most natural thing. And if you think about your education, whether that's in grade school or high school or university, you're not heavily encouraged to work on your problem solving skills. You're taught how to do the second part of problem solving, which is how to apply logic and reason in order to get to the solution. But there's not a lot of focus on figuring out what the right question that needs to be asked is. And the reality in business and our lives is that most things are really ambiguous. They're less clear than anything in an academic setting tends to be. So this is a fantastic area to work on your skills. Are you ready for an analytics career? Get the comprehensive guide, how to become a data analyst. Topics include key skills and how to build them, career paths, gaining experience, and launching your career. Check out the link in the description for more. The fourth data analyst skill to learn in 2020 is data visualization. Again, whether you're an analyst or just someone that's working with data in their job, Data visualization is an awesome skill to have, and we see things around us transforming to be more data focused. It's often more intuitive when we have data visualized than when we have just a complete set of numbers and data that we need to make sense out of. It's a fantastic way to communicate. In this area, skills to focus on would be learning how to visualize data in different ways, focusing on what the most effective way to visualize your data is, making sure that someone that's not familiar with the data understands the visualizations you're doing. So this could be a great way to experiment is working on preparing a visualization and then putting it in front of someone that knows very little about what you're working on. Whether that's a coworker or a friend, can you put that visualization visualization in front of them and have them understand what you mean and what you want them to take away from it. The options are really large here in terms of what resources you use to learn this. It could be as simple as using Excel to visualize your data and do varying different graphs and charts that uh, collect all of your data and then output it into a way that is simpler for someone to understand. It could also be learning a data visualization tool like Tableau or Power BI or ClickView or one of the many web-based um, interactive data visualization tools that exist. This could also be an additional building block in your programming skills. You can do data visualization with Python and R and SAS. So if you're already heavily into those tools, go ahead and build on that with data visualization skills right in those tools. The fifth data analyst skill to work on in 2020 is one that touches on some of the other items that we've already talked about, and that's communication skills. You're going to need these no matter what job you're in. And this is not just communicating data, but it's communicating information in a level that's appropriate to the person you're talking to. The message that you need to convey when you talk to the CEO might be different than the message that you need to convey to an engineer or someone that's assembling the product. They need different levels of information to know what action they need to take with what you're giving them. Work on how you communicate with people. Work on tailoring your message to the person that you're talking to. You'll find as you get better at communicating that it can make a massive difference in accelerating your career. If you're amazing at technical work, but you're not so good at communicating, no one's going to understand how great you are at the technical work. You're still going to have a gap that you need to explain. If you're a really good communicator, sometimes that can actually make up for technical skills that might be a little more deficient. That's not to say you should focus on communication and ignore the technical skills, but it does mean that communication skills are really going to impact your career. Those are my top five data analyst skills to learn in 2020. If you're interested in more analytics related topics, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you're alerted every time I post a new video. If you wanna get into an analytics career, take my analytics career quiz. It's a free quiz where you answer a few questions and it'll guide you in the direction of the right career path for you. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.